Hey what's going on guys my name is Marufa Meme and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful text water wave effect using Elementor page builder. <laughs> it would be fun so without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. So let's take a section by clicking on this plus icon, take a single column structure. Now let's give it a height to minimum height. First now set it in VH. I'm making it 100 VH. Now let's give it a background color. So from background type, I'm gonna selecting a color. I'm taking a dark color. Now let's click on the Rubik's Cube icon and take this heading inside. Alright. And now here I'm writing my name. I'm setting it to center. Now go to style tab. Now let's take its color. Let's make it to white. Now let's go to typography. Make the width to 800 and size to VW and let's take here 12. I'm taking it VW because I want to keep it to one line on all devices. Okay, now let's duplicate this heading like this. So this is our first heading and this is our second heading. So first let's add a stroke effect to the first heading. To add this we need to write a little bit of custom CSS. So go under its advanced tab and open the custom CSS field. By the way custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I'll put the Elementor Pro purchase link in the description. You can get the Elementor Pro from the description link. Alright, now let's write the simple CSS code here or we can just go to jimfahaddigital.com. I'll put the page's link in the description from this page under this back heading CSS. Just copy this CSS snippet. Go inside Elementor. Now paste the code here. We can see the beautiful stroke effect here. Okay, now I wanna change this text color to transparent. So go to its style tab. From here, let's go to text color and drag the bottom bar to the very left. Cool. Now let's make the second heading color to same blue color. So go to style tab from text color. Let's put the blue color code here. It's 03A9F4. Now I wanna position them at the same place. Okay, okay. Now we can use the navigator. So here the navigator we can see, here's our first heading and this is our second heading. Now I wanna position them at the same place. So I'm selecting the first one, go to the advanced tab, then go to positioning and here we can set the position to absolute. Now let's do the same thing with the second heading, go under its advanced tab. So now let's go to positioning and make it to absolute. Now the very last thing, we need to add some custom CSS with the second heading. So let's go to custom CSS or we can go to jimfahaddigital.com. From under front heading CSS, we can simply copy this whole CSS snippet. Now let's copy this, then go inside Elementor. Now paste the CSS code over here. Wow, we can see the beautiful water wave effect here. By default, I have set here the animation duration to 4. But if you want to make the animation more faster, then you can just, instead of 4, you can just add here 2. Also change over here to 2 seconds. Now the animation is happening within 2 seconds, but it's too fast. Let's go back to 4 seconds. Now let's make it 4 here and also here. Alright, now let's turn off the navigation and have a look over mobile device and also on tablet device. It's looking great. Okay, now let's close it and don't forget to click on this update button. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever we will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also if you want us to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project then you can contact us through our website it's jimfahaddigital.com we will try our best to help you. Once again thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. For now bye bye.